And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fake burn aggro. It's our next fake deck. Today what we're doing is we are playing some decks where we are playing the champions of popular decks. But we are surprising our opponents by not playing the uh, deck that they expect. So they will see that we are playing Noxus and Piltover and Zaun and that we're playing Draven. And so they're going to be expecting a burn deck. And so they're probably going to be... Uh, mulliganing accordingly, looking for all the good stuff against burn. And we're going to kind of fool them and go much bigger. We're going to have some card advantage, like we're going to have like back alley barkeep up here, subpersible. Once we play our 10 spells, this thing's a 5 5 elusive for 5. This card is just great. Um, we also have, we have like good interaction, good removal. And then our top end, we got armored tusk rider. I've been wanting to give this elephant a try and minotaur reckoner and uh you know karina Veraza and progress day at the top even i feel like minotaur reckoner is pretty good these days lots of uh you know a lot of like control decks they're playing like a few threats that you know if you can start stunning them maybe you know use like rem you know pair minotaur reckoner with like a deck with a bunch of cheap removal like this where like where you can kill like small things and then leave them with just some big things, and then the Reckoner can stun those big things. I feel like that could work pretty well. So here we go. So this is fake burn aggro. All right, we need definitely need to change our board and everything. Let's go to the Reckoner's Arena. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go to the lab and play the Noxus Sleeve. All right, Silverwing, you didn't do it for me last time. You're getting replaced by the minion. Here we go. Let's give this a try. Excited to play this deck. This has some cards I really like, you know. Uh, Sub Percival, <laughs> it's just awesome. But you know, I like Back Alley Barkeep and, and things like that. So we're just gonna be kind of playing a, a control deck, even though our opponents are gonna think aggro. So we're switching it up. All right, so they are playing aggro. This kind of thing doesn't doesn't really matter against really aggressive decks because the really aggressive decks are going to be looking to have the same kind of hand, any like and the same kind of hand and the same kind of start every single game. It really matters against your reactive decks. It matters against like control decks um, that they're. Uh, Bulligan incorrectly. My favorite deck right now, I would say, would be um, Starlet Fate. That would probably be my. That's what I would go right right now with my favorite deck. Played it three times and I've gone four one each time. I'm gonna be playing it again tomorrow. I had like that, uh, that deck right there. Okay, ready. I like both Freljord and, like Freljord Bil Bilgewater are probably my two favorite regions. Also. The party has arrived. Let's make a deal. Let's do this. All right, we still attack so we can get another spinning axe. If they go straight to attacks, we'll be using removal. If they play other things first, then we'll have arachnoid sentry. That's a good turn for us. Hey, buddy, what you doing? 
guess I'm supposed to be blocking here. Um, so you can play Sub Percival, but it will just be a 1-5. Probably my best play. Axes coming right up. I think that's my best play. Card is great. Um, I don't know if I've played Vi Lee. Oh yes, I have. I have played Levi. Yes, I wasn't impressed with Lee at all, and I, I haven't really been that impressed with Lee Sin to be honest. But maybe my maybe like the the Lee Lee, I you know it was a Levi, but maybe that Levi deck just wasn't very good for. Um, no, no. This is gonna hurt. for Lee Sin, but haven't been super impressed with Lee Sin. I'll kind of see what they do. I have, you know, some other stuff. I wouldn't really like to make the, you know, like, I don't really want to make that trade. Trading the Draven off, and maybe I'll end up completely regretting that and not using removal. Um. Gosh, I just have to cast something because I won't be able to draw the next card, will I? Four, eight, nine, ten. I haven't really uh, played War Mother's Control too much since the new sets come out. Or in, in this current metagame. It does seem like it could be pretty good. I really like... Um, should have played the Overwhelm. I really like the Wolf. Wolf Rider, I think is the name of the card. Really like that card. I played Reckoner so that like if their plan was like play Boom Crew Rookie, we would be stunning Boom Crew Rookie kind of thing. But maybe I should just play this Tusk Rider with the Overwhelm. That was a good jump block. Glad we haven't died yet. That's good. Not dying is good. Yay. Alright, big burn. Fake burn aggro beating real burn aggro. Gotta love to see that. Hey, Kiki Jiki. Yeah, new to the game? Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll describe some of the basics that are are happening. Yeah, winning is good. I agree. So, you know, like, this is our mana over here. You start with, you know, one mana in turn one, you get two mana in turn two, all that kind of stuff. All right, Twisted Fate, Gangplank. You get to know what, kind of what your opponent's playing beforehand. You get to see their champions and region. 
Okay. All right, so we're gonna mulligan our six drop. We'll mulligan the get excited, and I guess I'll send the static shock back too. I kind of kind of want to keep the static shock, but then again, keeping two four mana cards to start with could be bad. Uh, I didn't I didn't use any specific deck to climb to masters. I just I just play a lot because I, I stream the game every single day, and I I and you know, like content creator that that plays different decks um, but there so there wasn't any specific one deck that I played to get to masters the great part about this game is compared to other card games is the turns are shared you know that was turn two I can play I can play creatures they can play creatures now it's turn three we both play stuff, so it's it's really even. It's not you're on the play, you have a huge advantage. That's not a thing. Um, it's just one one person's the attacker, the other's the defender. Each turns. This turn they were the attacker. Hi, Pop. Come here. Darn! They got the plunder. That's that's what they wanted. Is they wanted they wanted to do a damage to me so they could plunder. So now they can pilfer goods or black market merchant. Oh no! They okay. They're just gonna do another one of those. Make it rain. All right. Hopefully we get to attack with our our pickpocket right away. No. Guess not. But the good news is they just used three spells to deal with two of mine. So I'm up a card. Good news. What a spring in your step and stars in your eye. <laughs> Karina Veraza. I'm not greedy. My not gonna be playing you for a while. One good turn, they render. Stronger than I thought. Oh. Bleh. Over goods is busted. Alright, Minotaur Reckoner. Hopefully you're real big and wreck stuff. They just played uh, strong arm. Wonder, place a follow a follower in play into your hands. They went and took my Minotaur Reckoner. That card is great. We'll use our thermogenic beam to kill it. But now we're back even on cards five and five. We do have these Karina Verazas that we are inching towards. I know, they're stealing all of our stuff. Oh, come on, Armored Tusk Rider? I want that card. It's mine, give it back. Oh, and it's stealing our cards.
No, two sub percibles. No. Okay, so the Tusk Rider did take that damage because it was from Karina Veraza. Gangplank's at three out of five. Kind of want to take this and try to use the new, the other Karina Veraza and kill them both. They could level up. Gangplank, but then I have Noxion Fervor also that can kill the Gangplank. Really hope this one hits three. I really hope this hits three cards. Great turn for them. They will learn to fear the sun. So I'll only have ten cards left to try to kill them. Sometimes Lady Luck's not on your side. That Bilgewater Steel deck is really, really good. I lose to that same person all the time. <laughs> like that same that same person plays the mono Bilgewater deck, and I probably lose to him like twice a day. Um. So this is a different Karma with. Maokai. That's different. Hmm. I do like Subpersible. But you don't really need Subpersible early. Yeah, I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen that champion combination either. Maokai and Karma together. Like That's different. Jackpocket. These get excited haven't really looked good because I haven't really wanted to discard anything. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll be discarding the Vile Feast.
two denies and a fresh offering? Fresh offering? That was a really good back alley barkeep. Huh, it's weird hamster. Yeah, I haven't seen this deck at all. But I guess it's on Mobile Addict's tier list. So we can try to bank some mana. Next turn we can progress progress day, gain some more cards. You name it, I'll nick it. Playing a bunch of wanderers. Subpersible. No, bad Maokai. Because I don't, I don't want to untap and Mystic Shot because, um, because then after, if I untap and Mystic Shot on my turn, then then they would have the opportunity to play a new blocker for my Kempunk pick pickpocket. Alright, gotta kill Karma. My plan was to play the Reckoner this turn. That was my plan. Or, yeah, that was my plan, was to play Reckoner, but... I played Karma. He came to give us some luck, puppy. We could use it. Reaper with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Reaper. I'm bringing the hype. Thank you. I appreciate that. play any of these. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're gonna Vile Feast now. <laughs> this puppy is so shy. Thank you, Reaper, our sixth sub of the day. Up 
Sleepy is so shy. Awesome. So, so has been watching all your YouTube videos since Runeterra came out on mobile. Great. I will tend this garden. Well, we've had a lot of uh, good uh, deck ideas and everything like that. All right, two Maokai's down. get rid of this lifelink thing right now. The other thing is just going to be continually stunned by the Minotaur Reckoner. That hurts. I was really hoping, you know, that Kempunk Pickpocket was going to hit them again. That was my plan, at least. Chill. Chill with the champions. They did toss two denies earlier. What else we got? Ooh, a boom crew rookie and a peddler. play the other Minotaur Reckoner, that's what I want to do this turn. Valfi's Curse Keeper. I don't have those cards. So they have uh, eight cards left. So if I if I can get spells and start playing puff cap peddler and start putting you know giving them a bunch of puff caps, like they're going to be drawing those cards with the puff caps. They have one Maokai left. They could have Rekindler. Have a mushroom. Have three. But Rekindler brings back Karma, of course. No. Bleh. Should have played Draven first. My pretty. The party has Should have let them do that to Draven. First big mission. Yep, too early on the peddler. Sneaky on 
dynamic and on dynamite. Like if they play Maokai, I'm gonna get excited it and then guillotine and then also guillotine this thing. Peddler. It's too late for you. Come from the dark. Really? Hope this works. Or is letting me hit with pickpocket? Like they'd rather block the barkeep? Wait, did barkeep not even or pickpocket didn't even make anything, did it? So they have no spells in their deck? I assume that means they have no spells in their deck. But alright, so that's that's why they block like that was Ruination. Ruination's bad news for me, obviously. Down to three cards left. I think they still have two two alive karmas and one alive Maokai. If their plan is like karma, yeah, now they play the karma spell. That's a tough plan to deal with. Now they just played Karma's Champion spell and just fill their hand and fill their deck with Karma's. I mean, maybe that's like the, the goal of the deck is to just get to the point where all you do is just have Karma's. You just mill yourself besides that. That's me. Puppy. Put a spring in your step and start oh, we get Barkeep. Noise. Does Barkeep always just make allies? It just says ran No, because we got a Mystic Shot earlier. Right. Yeah, Puppy is a Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu. Infinite Karmas is kind of lame, but it's a—I mean, it's a good win con, I guess.
Bye, pup. Hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fun to play. Yeah, casting all those spells. Yeah, yeah. Karma's a Karma's the type of card that's that's a lot more fun to play than play against. Yeah, that's. I'm sure. I'm sure they're having a blast. All right, so we're one and two. Whatever, man. Not my fault. <laughs> Draven. Ruination got me. And plus infinite karmas. It's a good deck idea. There's a lot of cards that they were tossing that doesn't feel like it should be in their deck at all. But it's a good deck idea. Toss the rest of your deck so you only have Karma and Rekindler, and you're great. Okay, let's see. Leeson, Twisted Fate. Think. I think we're going to get rid of this and get rid of House Spider. And I'll keep Thermogenic Beam, even though. We probably don't need like thermogenic beam for a really long time. You name it, I'll nick it. <laughs> We're not playing burn. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Even though it looks like it. We're not playing burn. Let's get to it. Stop on me. No. So obviously, I don't want them to turn on plunder. I was hoping that they didn't do exactly what they did of going straight to attacks, and I got to play the house spider, but. Didn't work. Ooh, Armored Tusk Rider can do some stuff. Yep, I'm not playing a stock list, opponent. I think you do get some... Um... Ooh, Cat of the Arm. I think you do get some uh, good percentage points also by not playing a stock list. Now the problem is I guess they're going to turn on Plunder here unless I you know, get excited or Noxion Fervor. But I think I just let them... So then I can play Caddo and then Tusk Rider and then attack. Just they're gonna take all of my cards. It's gonna be annoying. Static shock from me. I only have two static shocks in the deck, so I don't have another one. All right, Tusk Rider. Get him. 
Get him, Tusk Rider. Yeah, these decks, they say fake because they're the regions and the champion. Like this, whenever somebody sees this, they think it's burn aggro, but we are not playing burn aggro. We are playing a much different deck. And so we are, um, since we're taking the ability to see what your opponent's playing before the game and using that to our advantage by playing completely different decks than one would expect. Done a good job of taking my cards. They cannot hide. Quick. Why couldn't they play? Why couldn't they take like House Spider? So I'm, I'm hoping just this burn that we have in hand, uh, we have 10 points of burn in hand. I'm hoping that that plus the Armor Tusk Rider can win this game. That's my hope. But I'm not too sure about it. I guess the elephant does take damage from spells. Well, that's not cool. I thought... I thought the elephant would only take damage from en enemy units with 5 plus power and not from spells and abilities. Take da yeah, it takes damage from that? Alright, well this elephant's definitely worse than I thought. I can read the card. I only take damage from enemy units with 5 plus power. Like, only enemy units with 5 plus power should be able to damage the Tusk Rider. That's, that's how that reads. But I guess not. Oh, they're they're gonna be fixing that wording soon. Okay, because yeah, like that's that's what I imagined. This is my first time playing the Tusk Rider, but that's what I I definitely thought that the card did the whole time. I thought it wouldn't take damage, except for from enemy units with five plus power. But I guess that's not the case. Hmm. 
Five mana two three that adds extra damage doesn't work with pop caps. Yeah, no, because that 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 thing says all of your skill all of your skills and abilities do additional damage, and pop caps not like a, one of your spells or abilities or skills or any of those There's skill spells and skills something like that. So why doesn't Lee Sin take any damage right there? Because he didn't have barrier. Is it because he has Dragon's Rage? So like the Dragon's Rage dealt the damage, so Lee, so they didn't actually wasn't actually in combat. I guess I guess that's it. So the the Dragon's Rage means that they they don't actually attack each other. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we've, yeah, I've played a deck that's focused on leveling up Twisted Fate and protecting him. Why do they not block with Lee Sin? Yeah, it's called, uh, Infinite Draw. This deck here, it it can do some really crazy stuff. Is all, in the mind. all right, we need to draw Mystic Shots. Mystic Shots, off the top. Wow, called it. Called it. Boo. I'll see this through. I still had the answer. I haven't beaten one of these Bilgewater decks like in forever, it doesn't seem like. These Twisted Fate decks. My opponents just keep on pilfering and black market merchering. Merchanting all of my best spells. That's what it seems like. Yeah, Lisa not taking damage when challenging is super, super good. I didn't really realize that, to be honest. As long it's a, if it's a leveled up Lee Sin, that is, but still, because the Dragon's Rage does the damage. Gotta kill this. You know, gotta keep them from getting the easy plunder. Twisted Fate does like the the blue card, red card, that kind of stuff. Those are skills. Those are not spells. So those are not copied by Karma. So they're just skills that trigger. Uh, Dragon's Rage does target. Yes. So there is not a normal attack as well.
What was that other card besides the Butcher? Smooth Soloist. That's a card I need to build around, a Smooth Soloist. For a future meme tier Monday. All right, well, I mean, obviously I, I've been wrong about a lot of things, so who knows? Maybe Lee Sin also gets a normal attack. I, I don't know. I mean, these cards aren't written very clearly, which they don't have to because they just have the computer program that just does it how they want it to, and they don't have to write clearly what it what these things mean. So, again, I would assume that Lee Sin doesn't get a normal attack. Also, besides the Dragon Rage, like it doesn't also deal damage attacking wise, but. Man, I don't know. Don't like any of my options. I guess this is my best option. It is frustrating that it's not like real clear because then it's really hard to evaluate cards when you don't really know what, what they're going to do. There they go. My pretty. Approaching suspects. All right, let's play this Tusk Rider pre combat. Yeah. Let's go, Tusk Rider. Other option would be to attack right away and then play Minotaur Reckoner after combat, after they play something after combat. You dream it, I'll build it. Hmm. a cool card. <laughs> this is a little cup of tea. Reporting in. What the b is that? So the chair is like also like a, a robot that's like here's your wrench. What's up, Timo? Okay, cool. You made you made Twisted Fate slot bot deck. The the infinite draw deck that I that I made early, like last week for the meme tier Monday I actually started with slot bot with that deck and just and then uh, during the building part and everything I actually moved away. But I, I started as like wanting to make a slot bot deck <laughs> and then I ended up uh, cutting slot bot and going in a different direction. But... but nice. Okay, and you you did an invincible barrel. <laughs> also, yeah, that's good too. Okay, so they do stack permanently. Okay, I was wondering how that would would work, but yes, yeah, so they just keep stacking. 
with the unyielding spirit on it. Come on. Come on, pup. Okay. I guess pup's not going to jump up here. Hey, Key. What's up? Glitches the visuals out too. No. Don't stun. My armored tusk rider. Honestly, not quite too sure, Reaper. Asking what are the best decks right now. Watch and learn. Not too sure. Smells like opportunity. I kind of feel like the like the bilge like if I had to choose something, it'd be the bilge water decks. Um, like straight up bilge water or bilge water Ionia. Those are the. Those are the decks that are playing against them look the most impressive. All right, well, hopefully we just have enough burn now to get excited in a Mystic Shot, and then being at seven. I think that's two pick a cards they've played, so I think they're drawing seven cards this turn. Yep, they drew seven cards. <laughs> mm. You can discard fleeting cards, yep. Like if you have a rummage, you can discard them away. Because th they still do count as cards in your hand. So yep, you do get to discard them. They did draw tons and tons of cards, but they're basically all cards with fleeting. So we can kind of see what they do. Like, they're probably going to be tapping out and spending their mana. And then once they spend all their mana, then I use these things and kill them. Excuse me. That's my plan. All right, elephant. Elephant blocks. Me. And maybe those other guys, whatever. All right, so we ended up two and three with our fake burn aggro deck. Um, you 
you know, not bad, not bad. Tusk Rider was, you know, kind of, you know, 50-50. I don't know. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like it was a bad card, even though they could kill it with removal. Are you going to jump up here or not? Are you going to sit right there and scratch me? All right. It wasn't necessarily a bad card. Um, but that is really disappointing that it takes damage from spells and stuff to... Uh, honestly, kind of... I'm, I may have had too much removal, and I think I maybe just needed more like attacking things on like turn two turn three um you know maybe there's just too much removal in the deck that could be it like you know like we're sitting a lot of those games with like get excited and noxion fervors and guillotines and like this kind of stuff in hand while like my opponent's progressing their board um we had some close we had some close games though that just didn't didn't go our way you know like if if karina Veraza would have hit you know we had we hit uh we played two karina Verazas against one opponent and neither one of them did three damage but if one of them did three damage it would have made a huge difference we had that other game where we almost top decked the mystic shot to kill him but they were holding a health potion to stay alive definitely had some close losses in there um all right, but that's our fake burn aggro. We got one more. We're going to be trying Vimerdinger. We're going to be doing PNZ Allegiance. So if you like the, the PNZ Allegiance card, that's what we're going to be doing up next with the Vimerdinger deck. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave those comments and all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.